Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to my journey. Um, bear with me because this is new to me. But what I'm going to try to do is just go over this spreadsheet. I'll put the link in the description of where I got it from. Um, here you see you can do the drop down and you can change to what you're um, titrating from. For me, it's volume. I put in my original dose, which was when I finally made my switch over to volume, I was at 50 milligrams. So I was currently at 34 milligrams when I started this a few days ago, which is what I put in there, 34. So then I put in the date that I wanted to start, which in this case was the 14th, it was a Sunday. So then after playing around a little bit, I decided I wanted to titrate in water right now, five milligrams. The reason I decided that, which leaves me with 29, so I put that in, that's how it calculates all of this stuff down here. But I did that because at first I did 10, and if, if I change this to 10, and I had to change this, push this up to 200 milligrams, or two milliliters, I'm sorry. You see, I still get the same numbers, but the 200 milliliters is like eight ounces of water to drink. And I know you're slowly gonna, you're, you're decreasing it by, in this case, one milliliter a day, but it's like drinking a whole soda of Valium water, which I just couldn't do. So I changed this to five, which allowed me to cut this in half. And I still get the same numbers. Now, what I'm looking at here is I was coming down at a rate of 0.5, uh, half a milligram every two weeks, which I know is slow, but that's where I'm at right now. It turns out to 1.9%, the two-week percent drop, and it gives me my two-week volume. And this would be true of whatever you put in here for yours. For me, I know that's slower than most. That gives me a drop of around, see it gets a little bit higher as you go down gives me a drop of around 4% a month, which is not where I want to be, but it's where I want to be right now starting out. Now here's what's interesting. If I just start to pull, let's say things go really, really well, which I'm hoping that they do, I'll change it to two milliliters. It changes everything on here, which ups this. And if it does that, then I will just actually re redo this and reprint it out for myself. But for right now, we're gonna stay at one. And I said, do you want to, it asked if you want to slay the dates. I can see where you could not want to, you know, because like if you do a hold or whatever you may, but for me, as I'm, as I just draw lines through these each day that I do them, I'm just going to circle that when I, when I get to a hold, you know, if I, if I, if I have to hold, then I'll just circle that day and I'll just keep repeating that. But the way this is working, and then as you see, there's 99 to drink because I'm doing hundred milliliters. I'm taking out one. Um, and there's videos out there, which I could do one too, where you, I'm taking hundred milliliters of water dropping my five milligram tablet in waiting for it to dissolve i let it you know 20 30 minutes you know an hour just you know in the morning and then i shake it up really good and i put in the my uh syringe and i draw out probably two or three make sure there's no bubbles try to get them all out and then you know squirt back into the what i'm going to be drinking from until there's still a milliliter left or two or three or whatever day i'm on in my syringe and then I squirt that down the sink. Now if anybody has any suggestions for what else to do with that because I know I'm polluting everyone in the world with that because I know where I live that was not going to get filtered out of my tap water. I have reverse osmosis at my house but most people don't and I don't want to be poisoning them. So if anybody has any good ideas of how to get rid of that water that's not going to poison other people please uh, comment. Um, like I said, it doesn't. All the directions are are with are on the site that this gentleman, I believe, it was a gentleman, did this. Um, I should be able to actually say who he is, and I'm sorry, I don't know who he or she did this, but um, I will put the link in. Like I said, but really, it's as easy as putting in, you know, your original dose, which really that all anything that does is just helps you calculate, you know, where you are percent wise and your cumulative drops. Um, I believe, you know, it's, but it, even if you didn't put anything that was correct there, I don't think it's going to mess anything up, but just, you know, if you don't remember, then just put a number that's, you know, bigger than obviously your current dose, um, whatever date you want to start and you, doesn't matter what you put there. You can leave it, you know, what they have in there. If you're not going to display dates, you can write your own in. And then if you are going to do like, you could do like what I was going to do and I may do later, I still have, you know, obviously when I'm done with this, I'll have 24 milligrams, 12 and 12 on either side in my morning and night. 
I could decide to dissolve all of it, so there'd be a zero here, which I'll show you, it'd be a zero here, and then I would put all 24 in there, right? But then if I look at these, I would have to decide how, you know, the milliliters again, what I'd want to do. In this case, if I went to 200, that wouldn't be that big a deal because I would then be splitting that into two doses and, you know, two jars. So again, that would only give me a milliliter to drink. Um, but doing that, uh, at, at this, doing that would put me at a rate of 4.6%. So I would even consider probably, I don't know, maybe 300, um, again, depending on where I fall, and you could do more than that, actually. But right now, I'm going to uh, put it back the way I had it, which was 29, and my 5, with my 100 milliliters of water, and I'm going to pick taking out 1, and that gives me the numbers that I'm pretty comfortable with at the, at the moment. Um, other than that, you just go, like I said, you go down and you'll see that, you know, on April 22nd, I'll be done with this. And then I'll take the other five milligrams from that 10 that I'm cutting and I'll do the same thing. Now, hopefully I'll get there quicker. Um, that's my hope. That's my intention I'm putting out there. And after that, you actually, if you go to schedule two, it does pick up. See, now it's at 24 and allows you to change things so you can keep going. Um, but I'm not there yet, and uh, I, I'm guessing if you're watching this video, neither are you. Um, but this also gives you a nice idea of where you're at. Like when today when I was doing my video, um, I said I don't know where I'm at. Well, actually, I can look at it. I, that's today. And so I'm currently taking 33.85 milligrams of Valium. You know, give or take, because it's in water, and this is a suspension, not a solution. So when you mix it up, and right now I'm being very OCD about that, I try to make my draw into the, my draw out as quickly as I can once I've mixed it up. And then after I drink a dose, obviously, then you swirl some more water around and then you make sure you get all little particles out. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping my, that'll kind of diminish a little bit. I mean, I'll still do all that, but it, it won't be quite, se it won't seem so scary. Um, but this way, I'm only coming down 0.15% a day. And hopefully I can up that a little bit. But it's, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be better than dropping just the whole half a milligram or I would really like to do a whole milligram every two weeks um, and having you know the side effects that go along with that. I'd rather, I'd rather my body be able to have a little time to heal in between each cut. Um, and I think that's why people came up with this idea. So we're going to give it a shot. Anyway, this is just my attempt of going over this spreadsheet so that people, um, if you want to give it a shot, or just even just download it and play around with it to see, you know, what your taper might look like. Um, it's kind of eye-opening, and it's, uh, it's a very good research. Uh, resource, I'm sorry. So, again, thank you to everyone. Love and light. And, um, again, and this is something you could take, and I highly recommend that you take into your doctor, along with the Ashton Manual and anything else, that you could show them that, you know, this isn't, you know, whatever. People really are getting off these medications, you know, we're not addicts, we were prescribed these medications, and people have, on their own are coming up with their own ways of getting off since the medical community at, as a, at large is not currently helping us. Um, I think that may help. Um, again, I think, as they say, honey attracts more, uh, I don't know if it's flies or bees or whatever, but um, <laughs> my brain is not working today. But anyway, if you do take it in your doctor, you know, go in with a positive attitude and, you know, I think I know with mine, actually, that's one thing on this general, this, on this site, they have a lot of ideas on how to talk to your doctor and it's just a very, very good site overall. So I was, I would recommend going through the whole thing. I'm going to put a direct link if I can just to where this part of it is, but go through the whole site. It's actually very well done. Anyway, again, love and light and thank you all for uh, being a part of my journey. Uh, talk to you soon.